We are part of the Marvel family, but you've never technically met us. I'm Heidi Moneymaker, one of the stunt doubles for Black Widow. And I'm Michaela McAllister, stunt double for Yelena. And we're in the upcoming Marvel Studios film, Black Widow. We've been prepping the Black Widow character for the Black Widow film for over 10 years now, from where her character has been to where she's going, how her fight style evolves, and how her relationships are with the other characters. And now we finally get a chance to see who Natasha Romanoff really is. So to actually prep for the film, it took many, many months and hours in the gym training the actresses. It was so much fun to be able to find the powerful moments that these actresses would really kill it in these fight scenes. And so having those three to five hours a day prepping and working with them takes a long time, but that's the action that you'll see in the film that's so powerful because they worked so hard. Setting up a fight scene like the one in the kitchen in the trailer takes a lot of time. You have to start with weapons training and that's firearms training and knives, any objects that you might use in a fight like this. So with the dry fire, we would use fake guns and we'd work on disarms and mag changes and that kind of stuff. With the non-firing weapons, we spend time teaching the actors how to slash and stab and do anything that we would use that weapon to take down the opponent. On top of that, this scene, you can tell, is very symbiotic. Everyone's moving kind of in similar ways, and so it takes a lot of practice to get the right timing down when you're doing the same move, and you have to end it at the same time. So we'd spend anywhere from weeks to months trying to get prepared for something like this. Having been a part of the Marvel world and Black Widow character in general for the last 10 years, I've been on many, many sets with this character, and this set was completely different. It was her own standalone movie, and there was a special air everyone had, and it was a very female, empowered, and driven film, and it was just exciting to have that kind of energy on set every day. One of my favorite things about working on Black Widow was the ability to travel. I was able to work in Budapest and Morocco and in England, and I just thought it was incredible to be able to be in all these different exotic locations. That was so much fun. One of the things I think most people don't know about being on a film set, especially an action film set, is that you have a lot of downtime. So there's tons of action, flying through the air, doing fights, getting ratcheted through windows, but there's also a lot of time where you're waiting. You're waiting to do your stunt, and you have to be very mentally strong to stand on set and keep yourself mentally warm and physically warm so that you can do your best when you perform your stunt. Another thing that is a challenge being a stunt woman is the ability to hide pads and wearing these Black Widow costumes, there's minimal areas that we can hide gel pads or whatever we need. Pretty challenging, but um, it's fun and that's like what we signed up for. I would say another challenge to being a stunt woman has been in the past that often you show up to a film where you have a whole fight team or action team and it's you and maybe one other female but usually a whole team of, of guys and that's usually your fight team is guys and your nondescript stunt players come in as guys because they're playing bad guys and one of the things I really do appreciate these days is that we're seeing a lot more women in these roles especially on a film like Black Widow where you have so many female driven characters and I've even gotten the opportunity to, to be on that fight team as a, just one of the gals guys so that's, um, that's something that's been a challenge in the past but I'm happy for what we're looking forward to in the future. In the newest trailer there's an all-female fight scene which is really unique. Multi-person fight scenes like this are often very challenging, more so for all the people that are not the number one actor because they have to be in the background, their timing has to be impeccable, and they have to look like they're doing something when they're not, when they're waiting for their time to come in. Otherwise, they ruin the whole scene. So not only is it unique because it's a female fight scene, but it's actually a really hard scene to perform and look well. It took a long time to shoot. It was really awesome being able to bring a new female character into the Marvel Universe. It was so fun to work with the actress and be able to find these movements that will make her unique as a character, a little bit different than Black Widow, but still powerful and still have that Black Widow-esque movement. But we did want to make her unique, so you'll find in the movie that we made her a little bit different in her style of fighting, but um, you guys will really enjoy it. I've been lucky enough to work in the Marvel Universe for the last almost 11 years, and you'd think over time, putting on the Black Widow suit would take on a little less of an exciting feeling, but each and every time I put that suit on for the first time on a film, I'm elated and I feel like I've turned into a superhero in that moment right there. It's incredible. Being able to step foot into the Black Widow costumes 
is so much fun. It gets me a little bit giddy every time I step into it. And you know what? I feel really confident too every time I put it on. I just love it. I think that the Black Widow character is one of the best characters to inspire young people who are wanting this feeling of being a superhero in their own life, and that's because she's actually not a superhero. She's a human who's highly trained, who works really hard, and has developed these skills in her brain and with her body that have helped her along the way and made her kind of superhuman. So in my opinion, she's the best inspiration for anyone out there, and I think the bottom line is work hard, be kind and help others, and you'll always go far. You are already a superhero. I think everybody has a talent. Everybody has something that they enjoy doing. And as long as you set a goal and you work hard at it and you strive to achieve it, you are a hero right there. Thank you for watching and make sure to go see the Black Widow film when it opens in theaters.